it's just after 6 a.m. and I'm here to try a half square antenna. This is going to be for 30 meters. A half square comprises two quarter wavelength verticals separated by a half wavelength with a wire joined on the top. With these grid poles being eight or nine meters, that should just be enough to hold the vertical straight with only a short distance between the wire and the ground. I've added a new tool to my QRP arsenal, a mallet. That will help hammer the ground stake deeper into the sand and hopefully ensure the antenna doesn't blow over. And being rubber, it's going to damage the metal less than if I used a metal hammer. And it's lighter to cart as well. All you need for the half square is 30 metres of wire. There's insulators at the 7.5 and 22.5 metre interval. That provides a quarter wave, half wave and another quarter wave dropping down. I'm screwing it up to the free end of the wire to act as a weight. It's a good thing there's no wind. If there was, I might need something more, like a line or even some tape. Instead of twisting the wire and tying a knot, I'm using a piece of chopping board with three holes drilled. Two to pass the wire and one for the support string. I'm a bit lazy regarding the grounding requirements. I've just got three radials laid on the sand. The antenna is cut for 10 megahertz and I'd intended to work some CWDX. However, local noise was high and calls to a couple of stations calling were unsuccessful. The antenna would also load up on 40 metres. 40 metres also had noise, but there are some strong signals. The sun's a bit higher above the horizon and signals on 10 MHz have come up. Series 3. Very good. Well, 
Yeah, I got your long path. I'm uh, beamed uh, towards Europe. Anyway, 73, good luck. Uh, thanks for dropping by. Victor Kilo 3, Yankee Echo, good signal. Uh, W1AW stroke 1, Massachusetts QRZ. I was on the sand for three hours and made six contacts. Five of those were DX. Of those six, only two were on 10 megahertz. One of those was EA8AYT, who responded to my CQ call. That's always a good sign an antenna is working. The other contacts were made on 40 and 20 meters. That indicates that even though you might have an antenna optimized for one band, it's wise to have it so that it can operate on another band if required. The conditions may suit that alternative band.